All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Silver Spoon, Spoon season, season two, two, episode seven. seven. Right. The festival is over. Yeah, we did it. And did. now, oh, oh, okay. Now a war, maybe? Yeah. No. Or was well, that the festival? We'll have to see. You yeah, know? We'll have to see. What is we'll that thing that's see. been being built up? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, our boy Hajiken had a a uh, little bit of an encounter. Just a bit. Um, it was still, uncomfortable. Still spiraling a little bit from this. Yep. Didn't actually absorb maybe the best kind of stuff uh -uh. afterwards because he was able to spend some time with his friends, which was good. Which was very good. But none of them really drove home the point that he can rely on them and lean on them. and Old habits die hard. Yeah, old habits that die hard. That shit went deep. Yeah. So, yeah. so, next kind of section of things, because that was kind of a mid-season finale in a lot of ways. Sure. Um, let's see where he puts his energy into next and where others maybe kind of end up kind of partnering up with him. Yeah. Because I could see Aki doing a little bit of that this, in this, a compensatory kind of way. Yes, this definitely feels like it could be a milestone in the Aki Hachiken conflict that was established at the beginning right. of the season. Yeah. Yeah. She also knows that he likes her now. Yeah. I mean... Mm -hmm. Even if she's kind of thick in that regard, like the the friends like confirmed friends it. Like confirmed no, that it. that's a date. He asked you out on a date, so we could get a date. Also, we could. In this episode, yeah. So, y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> that was the most the most respectful I gave you all a direct order. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Go to sleep, please. In your room. まだ就職が決まらないんですかはい。急がんかけとかしてみては大江戸神社はどうですか絵馬が馬の形してて可愛らしいですよ。ああ。That's <笑> But still, yeah, that's cute and unique. You're not going during the new year or anything like that. Nope. Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> Everybody steps in. No, from every club. all the women. Yep. Amazing. Oh no! Oh, Pachan. She's running interference in case anyone tries to interrupt on the bus. You never know, though. She could be headed here. Was that her saying that she doesn't want to have small talk on the date? Wait. God, they're so awkward. <laughs> Oh my god. Wow. Oh. Yeah, what are you gonna put on it? Hmm. Do something cute. Mm -hmm. Something involving Aki. No, no, I didn't! <laughs> What do you actually want? Yeah. The way they both started writing at the same time. Good luck for Kamaba in the tournament. Huh? Huh?ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ
ここから再現なく広がっているんじゃないのかな。Wow. <laughs> Okay, gorgeous horizon. Yep. Okay, so far, kind of a blowout. Visiting team is crushing. Alright. Yeah. ほう。さあ、ファーストフライ。お、ナイス。ナイス。さあ、5球目。空振り三振。クリーン。ソリディング。いや、そうでいわれアヘッド。yeah, yeah, nice. He brings up the game. Oh. Background music! <laughs> yep. I once was in a, uh, the stands for a 15-inning baseball game. Good grief. It was a nail-biter. And that was before they shortened the innings. Yeah, I think it was either 0-0 or 1-1 for, like, the entire game. Each team had gone through like five or six pitchers. It's crazy. <laughs> we won! Let's go! Ah! This might actually become a sports anime. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 oh man, good teacher. Oh no, <laughs> in inning one. Yep. Oh, this is a big, big players. Okay, okay. One point in, good base hit. Ugh. Only one point, inning two. Oh! Oh, they didn't uh, get a, a run. <laughs> Quick! <laughs> get out of here! You'll see which is worse for your heart. Ah! Grabs the cab's legs and just jerks it out as yeah. fast as possible. Oh my god, it was steaming. For you to throw up into. Oh no, no. <laughs> Covered in blood and sweat. Three to four. Oh, alright. Yep. Okay. Damn it. Huh. <laughs> Me again! <laughs> oh, the cats are all like, Come on, you pussy! Like, yeah. deal with it! <laughs> oh, cow after bird! Yeah. Placenta! <laughs> Carry on my wayward son! 
I'm gonna kill you all. Oh no, they're yeah. gonna bring in Komaba, yeah. No, the pressure. I know. Ugh. God, I'm getting nervous. Yes, yeah. Yeah. That's bad. And now focus on the... Bunt on... Yeah, yeah. Intimidate him with that inside, uh... Inside One strike. Yeah, shit. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Foul ball. Yep. Yep, yep. Catchable, catchable. Yep. Let's go! Alright. Number four, oh no! Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. 632 for the... Yeah. I mean, that's postseason, so it's only a few games. <laughs> Yep, yep. Yep, you have to attack the batter. Keep it low and inside. That's OB. That's OB. No! Can't help the things that you dream for. So, I do. Yeah. I would be livid with this guy. That's a very, very good response, but if I was the right fielder and my coach mm -hmm. came to me. ま、ボーイ、すみか。そうよ、見てないの。風。太鼓を追って切り抜けたか。筋肉バカでも風邪ひくんだな。ああ。いや。いやいやいや。damn。yeah。what a mhm mm God, yeah. dreams suck, don't they? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Berserk got it right. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes dreams <laughs> oh, just, oh, just, <laughs> just, just, just pull you down. They sometimes take over your life. Paving and... is really difficult, you know? Yeah. And... No, really. No, yeah, like, yeah. like, I, I understand the point of this episode. Mm -hmm. It's a very different episode for Silver Spoon. Yes. It got its theme yes. across really well, but it was a bit slow and padded for, for what it gave us because it's... Yeah, it did some other stuff that wasn't tied into the whole, you know, dream thing with the baseball match and whatnot. It had the whole bit with... The shrine. The and shrine everything. and, you know, Mikage and, the, you know, yeah, oh, it, a date and... Yeah. yeah. It feels like a point in the manga where they were kind of going through and uh, adding a couple bits of details for other stories after the big arc of the mm -hmm. story which makes sense yep to kind of wind things up again but um here in the anime mm -hmm. uh that's probably the most like i don't know i feel like this anime doesn't really get me riled up and angry uh -huh. but like the idea that someone's dream can be extinguished potentially forever mm -hmm. because someone else didn't treasure it as much as they did yeah it feels so wrong because it's the well no he should be able to then go at it next year and give it another try with another team but the thing is no when you're playing sports you're on a team with a number yeah, of other people you don't people. know if that'll happen again yeah it's like you to know, say nothing of it's like a raid in an mmo when yep. one of us wipes you know their mechanic we all wipe the mechanic it's the you know it, it's, it sucks to be you but you yep. know what we and all just go back at it together. But for something like this, where it's a, you know, national level competition, you know, or at least the prelims for the national mm -hmm. level prelims, you know, and all that. Yeah, yeah. It, and that's fuck. And that's on top of how we've seen him, almost to a like superhuman degree, where yes. you know Aki called him a, a muscle cyborg. 
Yeah. Just being like, oh, yeah, uh, farming school, it's crazy tough. Vet has club activities. And then on top of that, I'll practice after, you know? Oh, yeah. No, that's fine. Oh, my family that is, yeah. like, struggles to, you know, keep Make running the meet. farm and everything, yeah. right? And, yeah. you know, and I'm very often helping them and things like that. Mm -hmm. You know, oh, yeah, just uh, just try another year. <laughs> sure. Like, that, and, and so I want to, I want to, like, unpack the idea of, of it being the, the right fielder's fault with, like, even with the, the gust of wind. Because yeah. I don't know as much about baseball. Okay, right? so so it's, you know? it's absolutely the right fielder's fault. 100%. Okay. If Komoba is in the situation where it's literally like a, it's like a fucking, it's a, it's a movie, it's an anime. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's unrealistic to, like, the craziest bit, but, you know, reality is stranger than fiction. If you're bottom of the ninth, two outs, mm -hmm. bases loaded, strongest batter on the other team against yeah, the strongest yeah. pitcher, it's literally as cheesy as it gets in terms mm -hmm. of setting all this stuff up. But, but... In the world of what he has to do, he has to play the batter. You can't walk him. You mm -hmm. can't try to do anything crazy. He has to give him the opportunity to essentially crush the ball, but make sure it goes really high if it's uh, hit past the infield. Because a play in the infield is a dice game where you're basically saying, oh, it's way higher than like 75% chance of a defensive uh, play that's made and one one it's a forced all basis so one of them gets out mm -hmm. but if you hit a fly up to the outfield that's even better it's even better because in general once the ball's been in the air for about six seconds or five seconds i would say it's it, outfielders can get to it easily mm -hmm. easily and so not right only that's this, their whole job yeah. that's their whole job basically yeah and then to keep uh, base hits to the earlier part of the outfield is just being a, a hit to first base rather than a double or uh, sure. potentially a triple. So you keep the ball in front of you or you keep it in the air caught by you. So the right fielder coming up to the ball, you know, glove out, ready to go. He's tracking it all the way in. Um, not getting, I would say, as... Uh, uh, kind of ready for it by having himself being like fully ready with two hands out rather than just one kind of what I call lazy outfielding. Um, Cause I have been an outfielder for like six years, I would say when I was, when I was a lot younger mm -hmm. and uh, you never dropped those because of the way that the ball is definitely curving and there's going to be some wind that will affect it and stuff. You're just tracking it and you can do this basically with your glove and it's not hard but a good way to make sure that you're doing it is you have your other hand here to kind of give yourself that like extra momentum, extra guidance, movement and, and, guidance like and stuff. Yeah. I also use it because I'm not actually putting my hand to the glove. I'm using this to kind of help track it with my eyes because it can get okay. a little bit fucky up there in the yeah. wind. Right. Like I, I couldn't remember how exactly it happened. I thought it was going to be like some sun glare thing or whatever, but no, it's just an extra burst of wind. And whether it was because he, I don't know, like didn't didn't stay low enough so that he could move side to side quickly or like, you know, he 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 locked his legs. He lost sight of it for the last like second or two. Mm. Um, it's the kind of thing where it, it does happen. Reality is stranger than fiction. Mm -hmm. But it's the kind of thing where if you're a player that's aware, like you're you're tuned in, mm -hmm. you, you can, can move with it happening. at the last second. I've had many times where what happens is the ball is back spinning. And it actually achieves more lift, so it kind of goes like this. Mm -hmm. I've caught many balls where it's the, I think it's coming in right to my face, which is where I kind of want it to because it's easier to track. And then it kind of at the last second kind of does this, and I have to go, whoa! And that's the scariest one because then because you can't move backwards easily. Right. Moving backwards, you lose your balance, and then you lose your coordination, and it, you, can, you can get fucked that way. Yeah. So you want to keep it in front of you, but the idea if it fell to the side of you because of the wind, you, you fucked up. You, you fucked up on the tracking the ball. You weren't you, watching the ball all the way as much as you could. You weren't ready to, to make the, the lunge To make the adjustment, or... the adjustment or have good proper judgment on the ball. Because even if at the last second the wind gusts just right. perfectly, it's still a, okay, move accordingly. But what, what probably happened mm -hmm. was he got in his head. He realized this is, this the is game. it. I did it. And then, but also... This is easy. We did awesome. it. And then, I'm already celebrating in my head. And then panic because, wait, oh shit, it's not, it's not right, like right. straightforward. Because, and... because he stopped paying attention to it. Mm -hmm. What, what I, what I, what I love about this was he basically realized, oh, if I could, 
uh, just get a fly ball right to me, I'd end the game right there. Mm -hmm. And outfielders never going to get consistently hit to in a baseball game. Most of the action happens in the infield. Right. Most of it is between the pitcher and the catcher and the batter. And that's why so a lot of people don't like baseball because it can be very boring in that sense. Right. Of, so yeah. an outfielder might get three flyouts the whole game, and that's good activity for them. You know, for yeah. you know a minimum of like Shit. you know seventy five pitches. But then the one time it does come to you at the very end, and it matters in this regard, you drop this. The thing of him not saying a single word, I. I feel that into to the deepest core of my being, just praying like, please, please, please. I'm so sorry. Like, I because uh -huh. they would also know what it means for Kamala, right? No, well, they, they, they know what his family no, situation is. It's even worse than that. It's even worse than that. They're the reason that fucked it up. Oh yeah, I don't no. know Komaba, They're just realizing, I I threw this all away, and I should have been able to get that. I absolutely should have been able to get that. So yeah, I I yeah. This is this is something where I, I I feel intense intense disappointment and and anger on Komaba's behalf. It mm. is what it is. You can't right. You can't shit happens. Shit happens. There's gonna be weird instances and stuff like this. Just yep. is the case. But, but yeah, it's uh -huh. the kind of thing where, in a classic sense, also, um, you're only as strong as your weakest player. And Komaba, if he is the strongest player on the team for being on the pitcher's mound, which makes you him, should have come to Shiratorizawa. <laughs> like basically, we have an instance of where you know, yeah, a Hinata kind of player, even though this guy I'm sure is great, is in the classically worst position on the field, right field. Mm. Um, Komaba, who is in the classically most important position on the field. Oh right, because even mound, even for field positions. Right field, most of the time it's going to be left or, or midfield, right? If you're thinking like traditionally. Yeah, like traditionally right -handed for right-handed players. players, they're going yeah. to hit to left center right. in general. They're not going to hit to the right field. Mm -hmm. And that's just statistically more probable to right. go that way. So, yeah, um, yeah, really, really sucky situation. Um, I loved the little talk about dreams, though, and how that ties into, hey, yeah, sometimes there's things you're just not cut out for, but you still want it. Mm -hmm. Even if you saw you that horrible that. thing and it traumatized you, you you still want that dream. Yep. A great example of this is sports because most people will grow out of the physical ability to oh, perform sure. well at that sport mm -hmm. at the level that they want, and yet they still love it. Mm -hmm. I, I think a great uh, thing that connects me to this is that I really love Ultimate Frisbee, and yet I'm not who I was 10 years ago who could run way longer, way harder, way farther and everything. And yet, I still am addicted as hell to the sport. Yeah. I love every bit of it. I am better at the sport, too, and from a technical perspective. But at the same time, if you were to same time, take, if you were able to take the experience that you have and everything and then put it in your body 10 years ago. Yeah, or, or just yeah. at the very least, the enjoyment I have for it, you know? There's, sure. there's even more of just yeah. the, the more and more you fall in love with something. It's like a yes. good relationship. The, the beauty of it and the novelty of it are not in in you know in yeah. in conflict with each other naturally mm -hmm. it it just gets better and better it revitalizes and it's this whole thing where it it just evolves it doesn't mm -hmm. it never goes away so yeah 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 and then we have the shrine and the love stuff which right is... and that's all that's that's great and fun and and whatnot but I'm I'm really glad that that the Komoba bit was able to to land for you in a way more than, even than it was able to land for me because I'm well, like I've played baseball but I'm not I'm not passionate about baseball i don't really understand the stuff it, yeah to me it felt more like a like a freak environmental you know accident rather right. than the that's something that happened but you are supposed to be able to account for that stuff you know right it's the it's the freak thing that you you literally train a thousand times a thousand for mm -hmm. so that when it happens you're ready there, there's there's so many things that i remember being drilled into me specifically for the yeah you you're you're playing the numbers game we have to trust your, you have to trust that your eyes are good. You have to, you know, mm -hmm. make sure you're, you know, got your hat a certain way so you're not looking up into the sun and blinding yourself. You have to make sure your legs aren't locked and your knees are bent a certain way. And then you're ready to move in this regard because your judgment is going to be slightly off, most mm -hmm. likely, but it's how much can you adjust to that? And yeah, just nerves and the wind and the mm -hmm. timing of it, yep. probably some pre-celebration in his head, sure. a whole bunch of other things. And then, yep, 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 yep. yep. Fucked over the whole thing. Uh, but yeah, I would say that the baseball thing in general, as a storyline, I don't mm -hmm. think was that engaging in the no, moment it's, by moment. It's yeah. the 
What does what it mean, mean for Kamaba? Tying to itself to the dream stuff with Kamaba mm -hmm. as a character. But I do like how they showcased how everyone from back home is also cheering him on in the same kind of yes. way. You know, even the teacher is like, yeah, okay, guys, we, yeah, this is what I'm supposed to teach yeah. you, but is, yeah, you'll figure it out, you know, but okay, let's watch I mean, the game. It's literally you know? called the Field of Dreams. Like, that's, that's a, oh, yeah, that's a line, that's a, that's a nickname for the baseball diamond. It's called wow. the Field of Dreams. Damn. Because every player, while they're separate, they shine in their own ways for being someone that carries their own individual dream. And while huh. their roles are so vastly different, um, they all, they all carry that, basically. Nice. And in some ways, baseball is a weird sport in that there are so many players on the field at one time, it almost feels a bit like, like, like crowded and not crowded and that. Right. Because have... it's a very big field. Right. But if you take like a basketball team, they'll only put like, what is it, like five players on the field at, any, at the court at every, any given time. Yeah. Well, and it's much smaller. Much <laughs> smaller. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I very much liked that this plot line was resolved, though. I do think that in some ways sure. it was holding us back from getting to see the development with the Aki and Komaba stuff sure. in general. So yeah. now that this has happened, this will be a forcing function for mm -hmm. him to either make the decision to go back to the farm, abandon the dream, yep. or then to have go some back to tough school conversations even. about it. Yeah. In general, just for Komaba to be in a different mental and emotional place. Yep. Despite him being an absolute giga chat and finding it in himself to encourage the right fielder, because uh -huh. I literally would not be able to look at him if I was Komaba for a while. Now, obviously, they've been on a team for at least right. a year or two. The bonds run deep. The yeah. bonds run at least they're there. Yeah. But like, but I, oh, man. Yeah. I, I, I wouldn't want my pitcher to look at me. The way in which he had the towel over his head and uh -huh. he never looked up at him. Yeah. That's real. That is too real. Oh, but yeah, all in all, um, Sweet episode, but very uh, oddly paced episode and painful episode by the uh, mm. the end of it. Yeah. But yeah. Um, yeah, Hachiken got a pseudo date for all the time it took for them to walk did. from the bus to the shrine. Right, until then. Oh, a bunch everybody of... Everybody else was there. Everybody else is there too. Okay. But yeah. we didn't actually uh, see what their wish, wishes were, even though they figure out what they were going to put on their Emmas once they were reminded about Komaba. Right, and, and then we see there. them later, and it's like, okay, yeah, they both wrote, okay, well, you know, we'll put... Oh, did they? Did yeah, they it, actually it showed show? it later that they both put on, uh, like, you know, let them go to Koshien. Oh, yeah, 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 it's right... Yeah. Right, where was it? It was right about here. Yeah, like, after... Yeah, there we go. Here it is. Let me make sure the subtitles work. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Miyazo win the all Hokkaido Camp Championships Aki. Maybe as a culture high school basketball baseball club win. Yep. Hachiken, you go. Okay, cool. Yeah. I really say my my favorite like odd part is when they're trying to figure out what to write, and then they realize at the same time because they looked at each other's, they start laughing, mm -hmm. and then uh, hey. oh, come on, it's like it would be great if happy people were blown to bits. I love this joke so much because rather than doing. Like one, two, three with the dialogue by having uh -huh. them respond to anything. It's that their laughing was part one of the joke because mm -hmm. they're laughing. He's part two of the happy people blown to bits. And then the other girl here who might have gone with him just says, you know, they also sell love charms here. <laughs> like it's, it's, the, the, it's the most like, thrown. like, like cold, cool, like, like uncaring mic drop of just like. You know, you could get one of these if you're, uh, yeah. you know, the, the reason why if you're I so it, frustrated by the first year's Mr. High School graduate. No, 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 no. This is this is the level oh. of layers to this joke oh, here. Yeah. What is Okoa's defining feature? Is that he doesn't move on. No, he, he doesn't. doesn't get a job. He doesn't actually put in the work to do. Oh. <laughs> so she's like, the least you could fucking do is oh buy a my love job. God. Oh, she's that's throwing amazing. so much shade on him by being yeah. like, hey, Mr. Won't look for a job. Won't put in work. Yeah. Won't put in work. If you're going to be upset at all the people that are getting stuff done. At least done, buy a lottery at ticket. At least buy a lottery ticket. Yeah. Like, wow. Like, for fuck's sake. I love this joke so much because immediately I was like, <gasps> like, oh my God. I don't think he even gets it. I, I never made that connection either. That's, that's fantastic. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Like, like. Like the also, way she says it so coldly as mm -hmm. well. And then he just kind of, huh? huh? Yeah. <laughs> also, I got to say, 
I really yeah. appreciate that in this episode, mm -hmm. we have examples of side characters in anime going to bat for the characters that are crushing on each other couple. to be able to have a date that is as uninterrupted <laughs> as possible. All the girls coming in and and, and fucking Weapons Tomiko, of choice. like, like, choke Judo, holding. Yeah, yeah like, 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 just like, no, don't fucking interrupt this. Let them have their time. And then when the one person is like, oh, I'm jealous, the other person's just like, fuck off, here's the love charm. Right? Oh my god, yeah, they're actually all in their sports clubs. So we've got volleyball here. Uh-huh. We've got... Uh, badminton or tennis. Badminton, yeah. yeah, yeah. We've got... Uh, ping pong. Ping pong. We've got kendo. kendo. Yeah. We've got judo. And judo. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> all of them. Yeah. And the way they all are in their dramatic pose. Like, like salute, go. Go! <laughs> yeah. That was fantastic. Yep. God, is so good. But... All right, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You can get on early access there. You can watch full-length timer reactions there, and all this comes with Discord access, so you can chat with us in the community there about this show, about anime in general, and also be sure to check out my Baldur's Gate 3 Let's Play on Twitch, and if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.